What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol KPLT for Catapult Holdings. On the left-hand side, we're looking at the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, we have the 30-minute intraday time frame. Now, of course, this is a very interesting situation here. This is getting some of the momentum from what happened with Affirm Holdings, their partnership with Amazon. So that's kind of the catalyst that's going on here. But as you know, you're here for a technical analysis. I'm an expert on price action, not so much fundamentals. So for now, what we're noticing is obviously this massive gap overhead, and then in contrast, this smaller gap that is underneath us from the daily perspective. And these two things are going to be coming into play arguably sooner rather than later. So given that there was a catalyst, there was some really strong volume coming in down below, we're either going to be looking for continuation to fill the gap up above or at least work our way into it or a reversal to you know essentially come back down and trade back where we were likely under that 362 scenario so from the daily we can't really learn too much other than the fact that there was a little bit of an upper wick here at the bottom end of the gap so sellers did step in at a very technical and nuanced area but let's shift the focus over to the 30 minute intraday time frame chart to really kind of see what's going on with the price action as you know whenever we get a large expansion of range we like to take the Fibonacci's from the low all the way up to the high of any given move that occurred and just judge what you know essentially happened at the 38.2 the first Fibonacci pullback area and as you can see we broke right through it broke right through the 50 but we did bottom out at the 618 which as you know is the line in the sand if we start getting candle closes actually underneath that area we do expect a 100% retracement but you can clearly see on today's trading action that we bottomed out here and then consolidated almost sideways into the end of the day so not the best uh, scenario obviously the most bullish would have been consolidation up here above that 514 or 38.2 to retracement. However, it's also not the end of the world. So a couple of things that we're going to use as a line in the sand. Certainly, uh, you know, you can just do this by structure as well. The, th the uh, Fibonacci certainly helped, but you know, for now, we'll just pay attention to major structure here. So 480 is kind of the line in the sand to the downside. If that level is breached, I would imagine that we come back down and at least to test, test today's low, excuse me, there at 410. And if, you know, that breaks, obviously the gap fill is up next down towards that 362 as we discussed. So please, if you're going to have any level on your chart, it needs to kind of be this 480. If that goes, I would just sort of lose interest in trading this. If we just flip quickly over to the trade tab and to all products, what we can see here is that uh, there certainly are no shares to short or it's hard to borrow at least. And if we drop down the options chain, eh, there's okay volume here on the put side. So maybe you can short it via puts, but it just wouldn't be my first inclination. Going back over to the chart to look back at the upside uh, potential. So the breakout is essentially going to happen if we can clear and get acceptance up above $5.20. Again, that would be recapturing the 38.2. And in that scenario, again, bullish consolidation here, you're looking for a breakout up and over this high at $5.87 to start to work its way up and into this gap. I would argue seven, the round psychological number starts acting as resistance, maybe eight as well. And if we look left here, there's also some prior price action here that may act as a bump in the road before we fill the gap completely at $8.11. The gap fills 932. But again, there's a lot of things that need to happen before that really comes into play, right? We discussed that on the 30 minute intraday perspective. So if you enjoyed today's video, if you learned anything new, let me know down below in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.